but I, you know, I just wanted to survive it. I knew that my ideas regarding the casting were not popular. Uh, it had been a very difficult uh, time to try to convince the studio that my, my notions about casting were, were right. I remember he having a lot of, uh, he was having a lot of problems. Every time he mentioned Brando's name, one of the executives said, if you mention his name again, you're out. And the guy who was then the president said, as president of Paramount Pictures, these are his exact words, as president of Paramount Pictures, Marlon Brando will never appear in this motion picture. Wait. I remember I just sort of fell on the floor and I said to them, you know, at least give me a chance. They're all right. If, number one, he does the movie for nothing, if he does a screen test, and if he puts up a bond guaranteeing that he, none of his shenanigans will cost a delay, you can consider him. So I said, all right. <laughs> and I called up Brandon, whom I didn't know, and you know, had made that contact and said, oh, what if I do some makeup tests, I said, you know, to, to get around the screen test. And I went and I brought Italian cheese and cigars and stuff. And we were just shooting and shooting, and he saw the cheese and went like that, and he started to like take his hair and put shoe polish on. And he says, he's like a bulldog, he puts on his hair. He goes, I want to hug, you know. And he's doing this right there, and I'm shooting it, and then like he started going, he put Kleenex in his mouth, and he had black. It was, it's remarkable to see. We've known each other for many years. This is the first time you've come to me for counsel or help. I can't remember the last time you invited me to your home for a cup of coffee. Even though my wife, she's godmother to a child. But uh, let's be frank here. You never wanted my friendship, and uh, you were afraid to be my dad. I understand you found paradise in America. You had a good trade. You made a good living. The police protected you, and there were courts of law, and uh, you didn't need a friend like me. But you come to me and you say, Don Corleone, give me justice. But you didn't ask with respect. You didn't offer friendship. You can't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter is to be married. And you ask me to do murder for money. This is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. One day, and that day may never come, I may ask you to do me a service.